What up, y'all, DC Fago guy? So I'm all unpacked, got everything set up to show you guys what I picked up at the Dark Carnival Games Convention. First thing I'll do is I'll show you guys real quick. They gave you, a, they gave you your badge. This is the badge. Really fucking sweet. <clears throat> I guess there were complaints that this is just cardboard. But, you know, I guess people are going to bitch. I think it's cool. Surprisingly, though, because I saw this and I'm like, oh, I'm going to pay the price for wearing this. I'm actually allergic to nickel. I have to have nickel-free metals that I wear. Otherwise, I break out in rashes. Surprisingly, I did not break out in a rash, so that's awesome. Of course, they gave you back the tickets. Which, you know, like again, I didn't go to Friday night, so I still have the whole ticket. That'll end up getting framed with the badge. This is the bracelet from the Saturday night after party. And a program, just, you know, just like a gathering program. Timeline on the back. Of course, we laminated a copy with the map on one side, the timeline on the other side. It comes in handy. Mac and hose, you can blow me shit all you want. It came in handy again, and we've even had people at the convention say, oh, that's kind of handy. <laughs> Alright, what do I want to show you next? What do I want to show you next? This one right here was actually a freebie given to a lot of people. I saw a lot of people have these, but they gave us a lanyard one of the times that we went back and got a couple t-shirts. And the lanyard says the 10th annual gathering of the Jolos, which I didn't go to, but hey, free shit and it's a fucking lanyard. I've been wanting an ICP slash psychopathic records themed lanyard for a while. Of course, I got card sleeves. I almost ordered these on a hatchet gear before going, but ultimately decided I'll get them at the convention, save the shipping. This is everything to completely sleeve every single card in into the Echo side, which, wow, sorry, which I've already got cards that are damaged, so a little too late for me getting these, but that's also why you see a copy of Into the Echo Side in the background. We'll get to that later. I'm not even going to reach for that other package of sleeves that I just dropped. Of course, the brand new game, Juggalos Against Sanity. I picked up two. This one's still sealed. <coughs> it's supposed to go to the giveaway winner, which I'll probably still send this copy to him. But uh, the reason there's a copy of Into the Echo Side... And the reason we got two of these, or if I end up sending this to the giveaway winner, if I order another copy, we're going to keep sealed copies of all the games we got, which is also why we have two Morton's list here. So for anybody that went to the game convention and see these two, kind of like, oh, why'd you grab two? I didn't realize they were going to be that limited because motherfuckers were grabbing four or five at a time. But we want to have two copies of all the games we have. And we're going to keep the ones that are sealed, like these, this one, and Into the Echo Side. We're going to keep them sealed. And we're going to put them, I'm going to swivel this real quick. Oh, We're going to keep them up here where the games are, but we're going to keep them sealed so that they can stay protected in the package, in the shrink wrap, all that good jazz. So that's why I have two copies of Morton's List. That's why I grabbed another copy of Into the Echo Side. Not sure yet if this is going to be the one that gets sent out to the giveaway winner. I really don't want to make them wait because according to Jump Steady and the Dark Carnival Games Convention Seminar, they sold out of these at the show or at the convention because they had so many pre-sales for these that they had to compensate for those because those pre-orders were in months ago and they only brought limited quantities of these to the convention because of that. He did say it'll be like one to three weeks before these will be back on Hatch Gear, which is which is which is good to know because it actually scared me. I went to order this for my giveaway winner and it was gone. I'm like, what the fuck? Which is why I picked up one because I didn't know what was going on. Now that I know the story, I may go ahead and wait and send him his directly from Hatchet Gear and just hang on to this one. So there's two of those. I didn't really show off Morton's list. Let me pull that back out here real quick. A lot of people are familiar with Morton's List, and a lot of people have never seen it. I had never seen it, but was excited to hear about this because I know people have given this a lot of praise, and this gave birth to Dark Carnival Games. So you gotta have it. You gotta have it. The end of board. The end to boredom. Yes, the end of boredom. That is the slogan. Uh, what's next? We've already seen into the Echo side in the past, so I'm not really gonna pull that out. Show you. You can see that it's there. I got it. Of course. The Dog Beats Vinyl, as soon as I saw it at the merch booth, I was my face lit up. I was like, yes! 
because I kind of hoped they would do something exclusive like that. I was almost wondering if they would do the Beverly Kills vinyl at this convention because of the show. But they had dog beats, and from what I understood, because I went on and saw the posts and everything, but uh, it was for Record Store Day. They actually have it on Hatch Gear now, so that review is going to be coming probably in the next couple days. Also, while I was there, I spotted this fucking hat that I had my eyes on back in December. I put this on my wish list on Hatchet Gear because this is a fucking sweet hat. It's Jump Steady inspired. He wears this black Hatchet Man on black hat a lot. And I wanted one because I thought it looked sweet. I had it in my wish list back in December. I wanted to make sure I got all my Christmas shopping done first before I ordered anything off Hatchet Gear for myself. This is how I roll. And uh, by the time my Christmas shopping was done, it was like a week before Christmas, I went to order. This was sold out, and one of the t-shirts that I had in my wish list was gone. I'm like, fuck. So as soon as I saw this, you know, I, I snatched that shit up pretty damn quick. So let's jump into t-shirts. Now this t-shirt here, I went ahead and got it because I'm trying to get all the Joker card t-shirts in this. With this one, it leaves me with only one left to get, but in a way, I still have two left to get because... I told him I wanted 5X. I can wear 3X, but after the first wash cycle, it gets a little snug in the shoulder area, in my man titty areas. I got back to the hotel, and that motherfucker was a 3X. So I took it back on Sunday, and I asked, I was like, if you have any 5Xs, <coughs> is there any way that you would exchange it for me? Because I wanted a 5X. He went over looked, all they had was 3X. He offered me to go ahead and exchange it for a different shirt in 5X, but I really want to have a Carnival of Carnage shirt. So I guess I'm just gonna stick with this for now. And I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. I may get another shirt. Because one of the shirts here you'll see, I've already got. But then I spotted this bad boy. And this is really fucking sweet. I saw it from a distance. They had this one and they had one to the right of it that you guys have probably seen the 17 with the Joker cards in it. But this one looks sweeter to me. Not hating on the Joker card one, but I like this one better. And then in the back, oh, Insane Clown Posse 17 with Hatchman in it. That was a fucking sweet design. And, of course, then the last shirt you see is a Riddlebox shirt. I have a Riddlebox shirt. I actually have a Riddlebox tour shirt as well. We went to the uh, Riddlebox show last year. All they had was 3Xs. Again, I prefer to have 5s because they're they're nice and comfy. So I went ahead and picked up another Riddlebox shirt in 5X because my other one faded too. So, I don't know. I may give that one to my brother. So, if you're watching, bro, if you want my other shirt, the 3X, cheers. So, yeah, that's what I got. Um, I may edit real quick and clip. I'm going to go grab my uh, Dark Carnival Games convention shirt. We actually ordered those ahead of time so we could wear them to the convention. Let me go grab that and show you real quick in case you haven't watched the unboxing that Megs and I did on her channel. So if you haven't watched that, link in the description to go watch that. But I'll be right back. I'm going to show you guys the shirt anyways. Okay, I'm back. Had to pull it out of the dirty clothes hamper because... Uh, I wore it. I wore it the first day, so it has the the front just like the just like the program, just like the uh, badge, has the Carnival of Carnage, Night of the Axe, themed picture with DCG Con 2017, and then on the back has a Dark Carnival Games design. The other thing I'm going to show you, I didn't get it at the convention, but I made my trip to Detroit worthwhile, and went for a fago look uh went on a fago hunt this was actually right outside of our hotel we stayed at the super eight there was a sunoco right there so we stopped in there they had raspberry lemonade ohana punch and they had cherry cola fago which crazy mccormick said something to me about doing a certain float with this i know we had the conversation but i can't remember what the fuck you said to do in that float so if you're watching hit me up let me know remind me what float it was you said to do because I actually, I'm, I got these for two reasons. One, to try, but two, we have a Fago break tote. Meg started it. Um, but we're, we're collecting labels to put on this tote. And the idea with this tote then is to every concert, every ICP concert, is to take that tote, set it up before the show, full of Fago, and just let Juggalos come get it. Just come have some Fago. You know, DC Fago guy. I bring the I bring the flavor. I bring the freshness. I bring I deliver the Fago. So that was the whole gimmick behind that tote and that idea of taking it to shows. And uh, 
the Mayhem Mini Tour. That's what I'm calling it. They don't have a specific theme for that show. But May 6th is when the next ICP show is going to be. And I'm going. And I'd like to be able to take that tote. So, But yeah, I did pick up some Fago while I was there. I didn't extensively go on a hunt. I know I probably should have. But uh, it is what it is. At least it wasn't a complete bust. I got two new flavors. And actually, uh, that one looks really fucking good. So... But yeah, that is my pickups. You can uh, stay tuned for the Dog Beats vinyl review. I'm going to do a review of the actual convention itself. Just talking about, you know, my experience. I'm also going to do a review for Jugglers Against Sanity. At some point in time, I'm sure I will do some kind of a review on Morton's List. But Megs and I also had another idea because we had fun playing Jugglers Against Sanity with Crazy McCormick and our buddy Timmy. We had fun playing it, but it's a four-player game. Minimum of four players. Obviously, it's just me and Megs. Even if we invite my brother over, that's only three people. Which, I'll get into how that game's played if you've never played Cards Against Humanity in that review. But we have an idea to do like a, a live stream once a week, maybe on a Sunday. Where we set the camera up and we play. But the audience, the ones watching the live stream they're the judge every single round and then whoever gets five points out of me and megs will be the winner so that's that's the that's an idea bouncing around in our head of something to try we're not i'm not sure if it'll work not sure if it'll come to light but that's an idea we have for some shit to come out but uh yeah that is the pickups dog beats jugglers against sanity fucking morton's list got some t-shirts got some card sleeves and look at me I'm still throwing shit around card sleeves we're gonna put that in frame at uh, how, about, how about we do it upright just like that stay 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 sweet ass fucking hat that I finally got that's what I got y'all reviews coming up on some of this shit and uh yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys next time